Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Ernest Hemingway, July 21, 1899 to July 2, 1961, was an American author and journalist whose unique, Understated writing style had a strong influence on 20th century fiction and culture. Hemingway lived through the major conflicts of Europe during the first half of the 20th century. His war experiences led to powerful accounts, which described the horrors of modern war. Two major books include A Farewell to Arms, 1929, about the First World War, and For Whom the Bell Tolls, 1940, about the Spanish Civil War. Many of his books are considered classics of American literature. Hemingway was born in 1899, in Oak Park, Illinois. After leaving school, he worked as a journalist for the Kansas City City Star. He later writing was influenced by the style guide of the paper. Use short sentences. Use short first paragraphs. Use vigorous English. Be positive, not negative. However, after a few months of work, in 1918 he enlisted with the Red Cross to volunteer as an ambulance driver in the First World War. He was sent to the Italian front where he saw the horrors of the trench war. In July 1918, he was seriously wounded from mortar fire, but, despite his injuries and coming under machine gun fire, still managed to carry two Italian comrades to safety. He was awarded the Italian Silver Medal for this act of bravery. Whilst recuperating from his injuries he fell in love with a Red Cross nurse, Agnes von Karowski, but she rejected his offer of marriage. This rejection left a powerful emotional scar. A decade later, in 1929 Hemingway would write a semi-autobiographical novel, A Farewell to Arms based on his war experiences. The main character in the book is an ambulance driver who becomes disillusioned with the war, and then elopes with a Spanish girl to Switzerland. Hemingway returned home to the US, but fell out with his mother. Hemingway disliked the moralizing tone of his outwardly religious mother, who accused Hemingway of living based on lazy loafing and pleasure-seeking. Hemingway's free spirit rebelled against his mother's more religious, moralistic approach and he walked away from his family and was never reconciled. In 1921 he married Hadley Richardson, the first of four wives, he moved to Chicago and then Paris, where he spent much of the interwar years. He worked as a correspondent for the Toronto Star and became acquainted with many modernist writers, such as James Joyce, Gertrude Stein and Ezra Pound who lived in Paris at the time. In 1926, he published a successful novel, The Sun Also Rises, which was based on a generation of American socialites who drifted around Europe. For his part, Hemingway enjoyed the atmosphere and intellectual curiosity of Paris. In 1937, he went to Spain to cover the Spanish Civil War. He advocated international support for the Popular Front, who were fighting the fascist regime led by Franco. He later wrote a book, for Whom the Bell Tolls, 1940, which captures the struggles and brutality of the Spanish Civil War. During the Second World War, he continued to work as a foreign correspondent. He was present at the Normandy landings and the liberation of Paris. After the Second World War, Hemingway bought a home in Finca Vigia, Lookout Farm, in Cuba. Here in Cuba, he wrote The Old Man and the Sea, 1952 story about an elderly fisherman and devout Catholic, Spencer Tracy. The novel was praised by critics and he awarded the Pulitzer Prize. 1953, in 1954, Hemingway was involved in two plane crashes which left him severely injured and in pain for the rest of his life. After the crash, Hemingway was bedridden for a couple of years. Towards the end of the year, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature, 1954. For many years, Hemingway had sought the Nobel Prize, but when he was notified of the award, he humbly suggested other writers may have deserved it more. He was concerned that news of his near death, 
may have affected the sympathies of the jury then in 1960. Fidel Castro's rise to power in Cuba forced him to return to the U.S., he returned to Ketchum, Idaho. The last years were very difficult for Hemingway, he suffered from great physical pain, his mental clarity diminished, he struggled to write and he suffered from increasing depression. He tried electric shock therapy but to no avail. In 1961, at the age of 62, he killed himself with a shotgun. Hemingway's style had some similarities to other modernist writers. It was a reaction against the more elaborate, turgid style of the 19th century. Hemingway's writing was direct and minimalist, often leaving things unstated, but at the same time profoundly moving for bringing the reader into the heart of the story and experience. Hemingway said the facts float above the water, but the structure is kept out of sight. Behind the minimalist prose is a great effort, but the result is simplicity, immediacy, and clarity. Hemingway was born and raised in a strict Protestant tradition. After he married his second wife, he converted to Catholicism. Although he was not always observant in attending Mass, he was fascinated by Catholic rites, and would frequently visit churches on his own and light a candle. In his writings, he was also interested in the idea of pilgrimage to Catholic sites. After his serious injury in July 1918, he was baptized by an Italian priest and given the last rites. Hemingway also describes a spiritual experience during his serious injury.